So, what's up guys? Welcome to this short video where I talk about People Playground. So, I really like People Playground and I would definitely give this game like an 8 out of 10. Why? Because when I was younger I used to play like these Stickman games and it was like, it was kind of like mutilate your doll or mutilate a doll whatever. And you, you could just do this and you know swing them around and hurt them. And on the other website you had something like it, but it was more based on in real life and you had a character that you could throw around. It wasn't as flexible as this where you could rip his arm off and that sort of shit like this. <laughs> or uh, that you could mm, just fucking vaporize him with fucking nitro. Here, let me, let me show you. I think I did that already, but... Fucking vaporize his flesh off his body. <laughs> it, it's amazing because it has a lot of realism in this game. But a few things I think that could be better in this game is more weapons. Right? Obviously, you have this sort of stuff, but a lot of it is outdated right now for me so I need to download new ones but yeah and more pistols because sure this is quite a lot of pistols for a game like this but if I look at mutilate at all which is more it's also 2d but it's more like your whole body on the screen it's more detailed weapon wise because you have a bunch of weapons, you have a bunch of swords. It's really good, that game. I think... I like this game more than Mutilate at all, but... If I have to talk about the weapon choice in both games, then i definitely say that this game would win. Though, it's easier to spawn in workshop stuff in this game than in Mutilate at all, for me at least. Because you just go there and then you're like, oh yeah, let me let spawn this in. And you can just spawn in a fucking. Where is it? You can just spawn in this. Just be like, freeze and freeze this bitch. They're like, I man, I man. Let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's throw a fucking human in this. Uh, yeet. <laughs> And then you just get fucking ripped into pieces. I fucking love that in this game. And you can even... Like, bruh, this game is so good. But yeah, those things are just a little minor grind. Oh yeah, more vehicles could also be a very nice thing to have. More explosives. Mm, I don't know about this, I'm pretty satisfied with this. But what I find weird, and I think... The creator may be Dutch, or has some relations to it, I don't fucking know. Because this TV right here. What wij koekjes chocola of drop noemen, wordt in de vaktaal aangeduid met het woord zoetwijzen. That's Dutch. That's, that's pretty nice. What's this? Oh, they added this apparently? Okay. Oh yeah, they had an update. Fine. But didn't really know what they added, but cool. And maybe more syringes. Maybe there's already some basics to it, but you know, I'd love to have more syringes. Like maybe some immortality, because this one doesn't really work. If I give this to someone, do we like. Here, it's supposed to be ultra strength. Sir, syringe, right? Why is he going down? And now. Ultra strength, and it may even make him immortal. If I shoot him down here. Here, that's not ultra strength, man. That's more like ultra weak. So yeah, I'm not really... But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. This is just my thoughts on this game. I made quite a, quite a few videos on this game. And... 
that's what I think that could be better. Oh yeah, and something I also like is that they added this a while ago. They made the drowning more realistic, because when you normally would throw them in water, they would be just like this. Just normal in the water, but now when you throw them, when you push them in the water, wait, let me, let me do it more cool. Uh, let's see. I, I just, you know, fuck you. They actually move. They don't stop moving when I put them buff though. It's kind of weird. That bitch. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Goodbye.